And welcome to the Bench Monster TV channel. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am the Bench Monster. Thank you for joining us this week. Hope you've had a great week and having a good Thursday. And I know we're all ready for Friday, so. <laughs> well, it was my birthday 48 hours ago. Yes. Yeah. On Tuesday. And I'm 33 now. And I'm happy to be in my mid-30s now in the prime years of my lifting age. No, older than that, but it's uh, at least I'm still here. A little bit. A little bit. At about 20. Oh, more than 20. Excuse Screw me. No, no come on. Sorry. Uh, give me a break, man. <laughs> hey, I'm still out there, still doing it, still going to the gym. Uh, what are we going to start off talking about? Some food that we eat? I'm, I'm you kinda, wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> Ashley brought home some drugs. And this is, um, it kills more people than um, anything else on this earth, and that's sugar. No, sugar kills a lot of people diabetes obesity she brought home this honey made s'mores don't buy this don't buy it um i don't know what crack is like but i think it's similar very delicious i mean i almost ate the whole box last night and i'm just very impressed i and we bought like two more boxes very very addicting and uh i just wanted to talk about it are you tired already we shut yeah, it down okay well, maybe you need some cereal. But uh, yeah, that's a really cool cereal. I don't know whatever everybody e eats for cereal, or maybe nobody eats cereal, but I, uh, I'm i a Captain Crunch guy. I like Fruity Pebbles. Well, this has like combines like the best couple. It's got Cocoa Puffs, basically. Love Cocoa Puffs. Golden Grahams. Love Golden Grahams. And then the White Marshmallows are basically the Lucky same Charms. as the Lucky Charms oh. Marshmallows. It's the same consist like same made of the sun stuff so yeah. you got like three of the best cereals oh it's awesome um i don't know if it's a limited time thing but i got for a little bit yeah it's um I, it's my new pre-workout yeah it's delicious anyway let's move on people are waiting we want to see some videos here so we got a lot to talk about today we're going to go over the four attempts that were made at the baddest venture on the planet over the weekend many people saw it i saw it i watched it i thought it was really cool and well uh i don't know if the quality of the videos is that good but i just pulled them from facebook so We'll go over them. Uh, got a max effort and a speed bench exercise we're going to go over. And then a altercation that occurred at the gym last night. We got a nice video for you at the end. Yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, there's a backstory to it. We'll talk about it later. It's not the most important thing. So we're going to... UFC champion here. Yeah, UFC champion, Tank Abbott Jr. here. Um, we'll discuss it later. I'm not proud of it, but it everything happens for a reason. You never know when to expect these type of things when some crackhead is going to cross your path and want to crack crackhead yeah a little crackhead and uh yeah we'll watch it later anyway ashley you have a bench press here now i understand you it's my understanding you got like three hours of like nine or three days of like nine hours of sleep in a row not nine hours no. ten no okay you got a I lot got of sleep ten hours on sunday but i've gotten about six okay well, let's watch your bench here because i was here for this this is like a 180 bench right that's pretty good for you not really no i used to yeah, open, it i used to open with this this I'm gonna say like uh, I, mean, I mean but just for what's going on and everything your car wrap. Is, i was gonna explain i know like yeah. this isn't really anything special like i used to open with this but ever since i had shoulder surgery right um i've been a little bit on the struggle bus with the bench so this felt okay but you're looking good this body night. weight was uh pretty light i dropped under 130 so usually when i drop under 130 like all the weight starts right. feeling a little different um but it's still like i didn't even realize i was light and weight till afterwards usually i can tell usually i feel the weight and i'm like what do i weigh and then i like look and i'm well, below 130 and i'm like oh, okay. I, I was but impressed with that that night i was like yeah. oh that's pretty strong i thought i might be a little up in weight and i was below 130. well i was impressed you were you were kicking some weight out look good Thank um you. of course Thank i have you. some social media lifter highlights we were, we're going to go over here and then we'll move into the baddest venture on the planet lifters and blah 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 we will continue going okay Found this guy on the internet. People probably seen it. His name's Joseph Tumbarello, and he's doing 500 uh, for a set of six. And I don't know who he is, wow. but uh, he's uh, cracking them out. And uh, looks like a 250 pound individual. I mean, making it look easy, doing reps with it. Pause. He actually tried a 675 too and got it three quarters of the way up. I was impressed. Great straight line. And this guy's got power. I don't know. I've never heard of his name, but you know, when I see people on the internet, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put them on the show. Uh, okay, uh, Brian Forbes. Uh, talked to him today a little bit. Um, he did something that I thought was very impressive. He was putting on a two ply Pharrell uh, slingshot. Looks like does a self handout here with 800 pounds and benches it. Now, 
I and myself in my life have never done this, and I thought it was an impressive movement, so I wanted to showcase it here. By himself. By himself, yes, eight hundred yeah, pounds. Is. This this is That's impressive. That's ballsy. That is ballsy. Well, he's got the he's got the face savers on there, but yeah. just to take eight hundred out by yourself and bench it, I mean, hats off to you, Brian Forbes. You're a bad mother effer. I mean, no handoff. I mean, gets under it real good. This was impressive. Right out of the uprights there. Great form, head back, chest up. And reaches it back in the rack. Damn. Wow. Yeah, that was badass. <laughs> that was badass, man. I want to include the audio, but I think there was music playing in the background, and that's all. I get copyrighted, and then I have to come back and shut it down, all that good stuff. But that was awesome. Mr. Forbes, awesome. Very impressive. Yeah, it's uh, okay, I found an 880 squat here by an individual who weighs 220 pounds. Um, I, I don't know if this is a federation contest type of thing, but it's it was he said it was the World Raw Powerlifting Federation, and um, I think it's like uh, may, it might be in Brazil somewhere. But uh, yeah, very impressive. I mean, I, this might be actual judge lift here. My, he's shaking like like nobody's business he's but making he, people nervous yeah 220 body weight here 880 i mean and he goes down deep with it it looks it looks like you know skeptical here but that's a freaking strong man right there oh damn son i mean a little wobbly there a little yeah, stability a little issue but hey uh one rep max sent me some videos last week and i had to ask if you want me to post these because they're not completed lifts you know but um we'll showcase them anyway one rep max here is doing a 407 bench i believe this is in a contest and what we see here is the shirt uh rainbow hit rainbows him to the bottom and that happens oh, sometimes yeah, yeah. i've Jesus. done that with 1080 yeah things like that happen and then i think uh, one rep max here is doing a gym lift obviously it's a uh, 595 Got a canvas metal suit on, and those are uh, real restrictive. Not a deep squat. This is just training, but you know the guy's under the weight. Serious lifter here. And uh, push those knees out. Sit back. About 150 more pounds. We might get down to parallel and blast up. 700 maybe somewhere in there that's what i'm saying totally. uh thomas td davis was cracking out some bench presses again here um i don't know um i, I believe this is current a little 672 4 two. this guy's a total package man squat bench and deadlift i mean does it all any young man too just like a machine 672 yeah, yeah nothing Nice guy too, man. I'll never forget him and Julius Maddox when they walked up behind me. Like... And I was three ten, and all of a sudden I turned into it looked like I looked like a hundred ninety five pound kid next to those guys. Okay, where are we at? Oh, baddest venture on the planet. Uh, we got some lifts here. We got Jimmy Cole. We got Tony Carlino. We got Will Brody, Rich Putnam. Now I'm not sure, and I should have done my homework because I have I have the live stream recorded. Uh, what he benched here. I want to say it was 1020 something, 1024. I might be wrong, but don't be mad at me. But uh, Rich here in the bench freak. And uh, yeah, putting up some weight here. Great control. And a nice lockout. And a happy man. Hats off to you, Rich Putnam. Very nice job. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, I'm bouncing around too quick. Okay, uh, Jimmy Kolb. Single ply. 1,080. That is nuts. Took, and, uh, and like I said, he took my he my, took my all-time record, my all 308, uh, 1075. And I couldn't be more proud to have it happen to such an awesome man. Uh, legitimate lift, no question on the lockout. I mean, and a freaking single ply. I did it in a triple ply, den or phenom and, and jimmy here i think we got some multiple angles on it but uh yeah impressive movement here a 
Locked right there, son. Ha ha! Jimmy does this in training all the time, so it's nothing new to him. That's a tight single ply. Look at that. Nice. Nice crisp lockout. That's awesome. And three whites. Three whites. Three whites to go. I talked to Jimmy, uh, I think Monday morning he gave me a phone call, and we went over the lift, and I congratulated him. And uh, I told him uh, hopefully he adds to it. Add a little insurance to that 308 record, you know. And I appreciate appreciate him not beat me by one pound like other people. But yeah, beat me by five pounds. I appreciate that. Jimmy, awesome lift. Tony Carlino. Kicking some ass and taking names himself. And uh, I kind of knew this was going to happen. You know, uh, these two were going to go pretty close head to head. Tony Carlino here with a 1085 bench. Weighing 269 ish, somewhere in there. So, good descent. Three, two, one. That's a long time to be down there. Little tilt and a lockout. Damn, son. Wearing the Rob Farrell shirt there. Awesome lift, sir. Many of the lifters uh, were having a teetering problem, and they I, I think uh, they were said the bench was a little too soft and may have caused a lot of that to happen. But uh, say la vie. Will Barodi here, a 1091. Now, Will missed uh, his first and second attempt, but on his 1091, it flew up like 135. And this was impressive to see. Once again, in a Pharrell shirt. Takes it out at arm's length. It's a shit pot of weight. Brings a nice low there. And a, wow, wow that was fast. That was fast. Yeah, that's what, that's what those shirts can do when they're grooved properly. Awesome lift. And I believe he walked away with $10,000 for that lift. Yeah. That's a sweet deal, getting paid to do something you love. Yes. That's awesome. That was the uh, four lifts that were made. Um, there, you know, uh, other people uh, lifted but didn't uh, prove successful. But uh, I talked to Tiny Meeker today, and he's told me that they're uh, going to have a uh, next year in May have the same contest. And I'm not sure if I can say any more about it. All I know is there'll be another contest, and I will be there. That's all I can say. Okay. Where are we at? Oh, we're in speed bench and max effort workouts now. We're moving right along. Let's work into uh, this week's speed bench workout. Now, what we did this week was I brought the velocity meter in because I wanted to tighten up the uh, the speed of these guys and myself. You know, I post these videos on here, and a lot of times when I watch as we're adding weight, the bar speed is slowing down, and that's not what we want. So I brought in the uh, velocity meter, and we hooked it up, and we started at the correct uh, bar weight, and um, this is uh, a little tighter uh, control over the over the bar speed here. So this proves to be beneficial. So we're using a straight bar, a double mini, and one of my chains. And we're using about 45 to 50%. But bar speed is critical, and so we a lot of the guys had to drop bar weight. And there was only three of us going here, so it's pretty fast. And as always, I, I just get each grip. We do nine sets of three here. That's good. See, that bar has not been moving that fast recently. We've been getting a little bit uh, sloppy. So we tightened up things a bit. It includes myself. This bar speed right here is uh, 0 0.89, 0 0.91, 0 0.88 meters per second. That's how it's got to be. Of course, we do the uh, first grip is uh, hands next to smooth or trigger finger on smooth. Next grip is in the middle of the knurling. Last grip is pinky on the ring. So 
So three people, we're moving pretty quick. Now Hines right there on his on his third rep there, the bar hit like four inches above his nipple line, and that scared the shit out of me because that's not where we bring the bar. That was just a technical error. He was focusing on the concentric phase, on the speed, but a little technique went on the window on the third rep, and he dodged a bullet there because that's uh, when, when the bar is four inches above your nipple line towards your neck, your elbows become uh, outwards, and that can cause what's called pec tears or shoulder injuries. That kind of freaked me out, and um, he, he's uh, he's all right, but it's scary stuff like that you see when you're training that you do not want to happen. I believe tomorrow we'll be using uh, just chains instead of a band. If I'm not mistaken. All right, we should be one more lift here. That's 225, 35, 45, 55, 65. That's 265, 75 pounds in band tension and uh, 20 and 40 in chain also. So whatever that is at the top, over 300 something. Um, I'm actually huffing and puffing right here. So I'm, I'm kind of buying some time. Got the Samba bench shoes on. I don't have my uh, cuffs on. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why I took my cuffs off. Oh, all right. Now we got them back on. Uh, floor press. Going to do some uh, one set close, one set wide. I wanted to step it up a little bit. So I have 315 in the chain here. My chains are 20 pounds a piece. So that's 315 plus 40 at the top. I did 15 reps here, and it kind of petered me out for the next set. I only got 10 on the next one. Well, we throw a lot of variety in, switch up things a lot, make up things on the spot. Hines is going to do two plates. Looking good. I don't know if he used a close grip first. I, I believe he should have. Maybe I didn't film it. But usually it's one set close, one set wide. Brandon Allen here. Uh, probably the last time we'll see him. He's got uh, work-related things where he can't join us anymore. So they come and they go on our team, on the Bench Monster crew. Some people come in for a while, and then they uh, fizzle out. But that's all right. The door is always open for individuals to come in and train. If you got what it takes, you can bring intensity, you can bring fire, you can bring bring something to the crew. We much appreciate it. We don't like people who are dead weight, that don't load weights, don't hand off. You can find anybody like that off the street and bring them in. Now it's supposed to do 15 here. But the uh, triceps said otherwise. I start to get what's called help. a dot. What? Help, help. No help, help. It's a dying quail. I'm like getting like 10 and all of a sudden they're getting shorter and slower. And I'm like, oh, F it. I'm not going to make it. So uh, that's the way it goes. Now we we're going to give our elbows a break. Instead of doing rolling dumbbells, these uh, incline kickbacks are really uh, called elbow savers because there's no tension whatsoever on the on the underside of the elbow there. But you can't swing these either. I mean, you can swing them like a, you know, like a pendulum. But what you want to do is push them out and actually flex in the eight and four position back there. And it doesn't take a lot of weight because it's really hard to hold them back there. I'm using 45s, I think, or 40s. That's tough. But it alleviates a lot of the shoulder or elbow strain that we get from doing a lot of rolling dumbbells, a lot of jam presses, a lot of extensions type of thing. So we decided to... Give her elbows a break. And sets and reps on this are what? 
five sets uh I wasn't there. five sets of ten something like that probably somewhere in that in that realm so we did the floor press we did this and i don't know what we do next i probably cut it out just to shorten the uh video everybody gets involved and i try to post a little bit of everybody enjoying the movements One thing good about three people in the rotation on Friday, we started at uh, 3 o'clock. We were done at 3.59. So very fast workout. Work density, a lot of work, sets, reps in a short amount of time. That's how this day goes. And Heinz is going to go. Looks like he's got some 50s there, or maybe 45s. Now, he's swinging right there. Now, what he should be doing is making a split-second stop and flexing those tricep heads at the top back there. But that works, too, but just not uh, as efficient as the other way. And I can't think for the life of me what we do next. I probably, I probably ended the uh, speed bench. No. Oh, axle bar overhead press. I forgot. This was Brandon's idea. We don't do a lot of overhead pressing. We do a lot of seated pin pressing with the with the overhead thing, but very very often do we do the uh, standing overhead. And I thought the uh, axle bar would be a good tool to use on this day. Four sets of ten, I believe, was what we do. Uh, don't be fooled. That axle bar doesn't weigh forty five. It actually is what? It's like thir right. It's like thirty. Yeah. <laughs> so. Got to use a lot of core when you do overhead pressing. You got to really tighten up the abdomen area there, which I don't do a lot of. But you know what? You pick the exercise, I'm going to do it. And I know I got a plate and a quarter on there probably. It's just not just a plate. Heinz is going to get involved here too. I mean, it's the way it works, one after another. We turn wimps into warriors, not the other way around. That's what I do. And like I said, four sets here. And I think we did some side delt raises after that. And maybe a, a pec deck. We just got a brand new pec deck in the gym. All right. Let's move into Ooh. Max Effort Bench. Now, this was on my birthday. Happy birthday. Don't yawn. Uh, yeah, on my birthday, Tuesday night. So... It was a deload, but uh, but honestly, when I came in, I was feeling pretty good, so I kind of pushed it on the raw end, and then I uh, did a few board presses. But uh, the uh, we were we were prepping for a deload here, so let's uh, check it out. <laughs> Well, we don't start at 315. I just don't film one plate, two plate anymore. It just takes up time. So this is 315, and we were only supposed to work up to 315 tonight and then do some four-board press. But it was my birthday, and I figured, what? It's my, I'm an old man now, so I want to see what this old body can do. So I was going to push it a little bit. I felt pretty good. You know, 375 here. Age is just a number, but I was like, I was a little pissed that I'm getting old. So I was like, I'm not going to deload. Probably not a smart thing to do, but Heinz here trying three, 375. He was testing the waters himself, and he, and he found out that, uh, you know, he might need a little deload. Brandon Allen here with 315. He said he was feeling good, so he said, well, if you feel good, then spend it. Don't let me try to tell you what to do. Uh, 425. 
we got this method called trap traps lats hands and feet and these are verbal cues that we say that he says to me so when he says those i engage those things and it's really helping Dan here, uh, he's going to work up to a, a new PR one rep max raw. He's got 425 right here. He's a 500 pound single ply bencher. Uh, 505 here. I thought this felt pretty good as it normally does. And I thought about going up a little bit more. I think Dan here doing 440 for a PR, one rep max, and uh, he's really liking the verbal cue, spread the bar. As he's pressing up, he's trying to stretch that bar apart, which causes him to push in a straight line, too. Uh, 545. The handoffs were going good. Uh, the verbal cues, everything was filling on point, so... Didn't want to, uh, don't want to get injured by any means, but thought I'd give it a whirl. Now this is uh, some board pressing, just uh, controlled movements, nothing crazy. Dan also worked into some uh, three board, working those sticky points in there. That was supposed to be the main movement of the day. There's a miscue here on the reps. I told him I was going to do one, but uh, uh, it was ugly. And then uh, we decided to do some weighted dips. Now we're over on the assisted machine here, and I wanted to do them on the pitch shark, actually. That's just body weight right there with a the chain. We haven't done weighted dips in a long time, so I thought it would be a good time. Nobody seemed to uh, complain. So then we moved over to the pitch shark here, and we put, uh, oh, I got a 45 on there, anchored me down. Well, Jeremy Hornstra does a lot of weighted dips. Uh, oh, then we did some uh, just extension, <laughs> 10 to the head, and pressing. But we used two bands here. We got a, min a mini band and a micro mini, and we decided to uh, do these for the day. Pushing towards the feet. Don't mind the boiler. I don't know what's going on there. They'll have birthday cake in there. That's what's going on. Yeah, because you had birthday cake Sunday. Yeah. You to have your birthday two days. Yeah, I still got birthday cake in the fridge, too. Yeah. Yeah, these extensions. We do a lot of extensions. Always training those triceps. Always beating those muscles up, man. Can they ever be strong enough? So always try to find a different angle, a different type of resistance, a different bar, a different grip. Slow, a slow eccentric phase. I mean, on and on, just always mixing it up, never letting the mind and muscle know what's going on until it, we have to flick that switch. Uh, wow. That was the end of that workout. Believe me, we do more actually side delt raises, uh, a push downs, three push down sets till failure. And I think that concluded that workout. Uh, what's next? Oh, we're getting pretty close to the gym incident. Uh, I saw this, I call her a UFC girl. Um, I saw this girl, it kind of sets up the next video, but she's uh, going one hell of a, uh, of a lady here, taking out the uh, bark pretty well. Um, I wouldn't get in her way. I don't know how old she is. I don't know, but that, um, I'm impressed. Jesus. Yeah, poor tree. Poor tree. Okay, uh, she did a dark side promo code first, you know, dark side on here, uh, got the frail hat. Everybody make they make great shirts, so I always include the Bench Monster 10 promo code for 10% off your entire order. Please take advantage of it and order some dark side gear. Get yourself some cuffs. Uh big believer in those. Wear them so many so so much and so often that I had to get a new pair. Because I've literally like wore them out. So yeah. but everybody's wearing them and we enjoy them. And uh what uh surge wraps. I mean I wear in the gym, surge knee wraps, love those things too. So um, well, this is going, well, that's flashing across. Okay. So here's the deal. Uh, the gym is supposed to be my happy place. Right. I don't go to the gym to look for trouble, but, uh, last Friday after speed bench, I was at the front counter of the, of the gym and the gym owner and Ryan Hines were there. We were just bullshitting. 
And this guy walks up and comes in four inches from my face with his fists clenched and his chest bowed up in the thousand yard stare. And we're having a weird conversation. Like I'm, he's waiting. He wanted to throw a punch at me because he has some vendetta against me. We found out later on. Later on, he lied. Yeah, he lied. Well, he's a, he, we'll he's, get to that. He, he's a crack addict. They say he's on heroin. They say he's on. I don't he's know. Legitimately, he was he was very much on drugs. Everybody drugs. in the entire gym. I mean, even people that didn't know what was going on was like that guy. Like, so, something wrong with that guy. He's so for drugs. like three minutes, he's like in my face, like I did Mark Henry, but he's like right in front of me with his fist clenched, and I'm just laughing it off. Like, is this guy gonna throw? So it kind of it kind of fizzled off, and we parted our ways. And then after I kind of thought about it, I asked Hines, I go, why were you guys laughing? He goes, we thought he was going to throw a punch on you. I go, that I thought you guys knew the guy. This was like, you're like, no, that dude was legitimately pissed at you. Okay. So uh, yesterday, um, we Ryan Hines and myself were doing a bicep workout. I was over on deadlift. Yeah, she was over on deadlift. Her, yeah. um, and this yahoo comes back to the gym. Now he doesn't have a gym membership, so but you lied about that too. Well, he's a liar. He's a dro- he's a doper. Okay, he walks through the door, and I'm not picking on this guy. I didn't do. I didn't like wake up and like. Oh, I'm just gonna pick on this guy today. He walked through the door. You'll see it in the video. And he came in talking shit to me, and um, I just made a little video of it. We'll watch it once. We'll never talk about it again. But I thought it was entertaining because it was on camera, and there were cops involved, and I'm I'm still here. Like our Jim called the called the cops because they were gonna escort him out, and yeah. then he ended up leaving before that point, and then he ended up calling the cops saying that he was harassed and assaulted. Assaulted. And the cops basically said you're a crack, like you're a crack. We just had a shoving match. They knew he was in the wrong. They didn't even. I threw a right and I missed. Thank God I missed because he probably would have died. Wait till you see the speed on the right hand. I didn't. I was trying to hurt him at that point. We're just gonna let this play, and then we'll work into the chat box we got a lot going on over there so this uh this is just funny so you can just watch it so this is uh this is just basically just a ring camera yeah ryan hines and myself are over there comes over, sees the guy, you know he's not a member, so he pretends that he doesn't see him and he ignores him. He's at the door right now and Justin's pretending he doesn't see him there, so he walks away, but this kid didn't know better. This kid in the red hat goes and lets him in, which he shouldn't have done. He didn't know better. He told he lied to everybody and said he had a membership and we have no way of checking that. There's gonna be Yeah, just watch it. First thing he does is sees Ryan. Talk shit. Goes right over. Still wants to play. Still calling me over. Super drugged up. Just like his eyes are like freaking. When I came over, he's not here. I have to walk away because I'm I'm risking jail time. Yeah. He want he's still fucking with he's me right crying. there too. He uh, wants more. I, he can, he didn't get enough. I made him get the fuck away. Look at him. <laughs> Fucking just. Sorry. Bad word. Yeah. But... I'm trying to ignore him. I don't got time to spend in the clink. Yeah, you don't belong there, what, asshole. What do I do? What do I do? Well, what do I do? You try to work in, you try to correct things, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, if that right would have landed, um, I wouldn't be here for this show this evening. Now let's move into the chat box questions. Now that we got that out of the way. Start with Rob Morris at the top. I hope your mom is progressing well in her recovery. Yep, she's doing well. Hey, she took her steps on her own. Took her steps on her own a week and a half ago. Awesome. Very, very big step. Brian Forbes. Hey, brother. I usually don't get a chance to ask any questions. I don't have any right now, so I just would like to say hello. God bless you both, and sending more prayers to your mom. Hope to share the platform with you soon. Yeah. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks for joining us. Very nice lift. Impressive. Yes. 
Michael G. Wagner, happy birthday. Well, thank you. It's still my birthday, kind of. It's, no, it's, we, it's a week. No. I can celebrate it for a week. No. Yeah. It's over. You had, a t- you had two days. You had a birthday party, and then I, then well, we, we celebrated on Tuesday. Well, I love my birthday. Uh, Paul Loeffler. Hey, guys. How's it going? Wow, what an awesome weekend. The meat was the best ran meat I've ever been to. Tiny Meeker did an awesome job. I may have bombed, but the knowledge I learned from this meat was worth it. Well, good. I'm glad you were able to take away some learning lessons. Yeah, you'll come and... back stronger than ever. You know, yeah. we all have ups and downs, and I've bombed multiple times in meats, but you come back, figure it out, and uh, don't let it get you down, man. I mean, it's just a one-time thing. You'll come back and um, and go four for four at your next meat. It can happen. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal? I've had that before. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. Shredded, shredded Wheats, Cheerios. Cheerios? Who's got Cheerios? Where'd you J- get that one? Jammy Leach. Cheerios. Jamie Leach. Jam- the Jamie chocolate Leach. Cheerios, I hope? Or the plain? Plain's kind of boring. I like all the Cheerios. They're, okay. I mean, if, I, if I'm choosing between, like, Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs and those, the Cheerios don't stand up, but... When I'm trying to like get a cereal that's like not tons of sugar, and I like. If I'm gonna eat cereal, I want sugar. F it. Sean Deal. Captain Crunch all day long. Loving yeah. the dark side T-shirt you're rocking you. today. Happy to be a part of the Viper Two Mafia. Yeah, I texted John Alex like I thought I didn't have a dark side T-shirt, and he says no. I sent you one. So I had to go dig through my ninety-five thousand T-shirts to find it this evening. Oh, there you go. Yeah. One rep mix. Darn it! It's five minutes late. Haha. Ha. Anyways, how was you guys this week? How are you? You recovering, Miss Condre, and how's Mama Bench Monster? I'm doing good. You can see my my eyes. What, your scar? I still got a scrape on the side of my face. Yeah. But my black eye, I don't look like I got in an MMA fight no, anymore. No, you look like you straight out of the octagon last week. <laughs> so I'm doing better. Doing better. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Uh, Jerry Cool. Jerry Cool. Cobe will be the king of benching. Absolute legend in the making. Yeah, I think if Kolb gets a double ply or, uh, well, at some point he's got to get in a band shirt. And that's going to be scary. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and he's young, 30 something. Yeah, it must be nice. Well, even you were, had your run, you were pretty young. I was young. Yeah, still am young. Phil yeah, eat cheesesteak. Y'all see Mendy drop the bar on himself? I did. Absolutely wild. 11 15. Yeah, dangerous. That's scary that's stuff scary, right there. Man. Yeah, that can crack. And uh, crack sternums, crack ribs. Um, sure. But Mendelssohn's yeah, Mendelssohn's part Terminator, so he's not hurt. Sean Deal, Jimmy Cobb will be the first guy to bench eleven hundred single, multi, and the band shirt. Love that guy. I I, I agree, eleven hundred in the single ply. I really, it's 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 already there. I mean, it's just a matter of when he I wants mean, to do it. He's not very far off. I, who would have thunk? Uh, well, whoever makes that single ply makes a damn good single ply. Yeah, and that's Titan, obviously. CJ Morgani. Hey, everybody. Hope everyone is doing better this week. I think so. Yeah. It's been a better it, week. It's, it's been getting better. I, I life is, you know, uh, yeah, aside from my gym shenanigans yesterday, everything's going good. T. Pressifer. I don't think anyone in the Bench Monster family minds the longer speed or max effort videos. Well, I, don't, I mean, sometimes I do the speed work. And nobody wants to see nine minutes of our speed bench. So I try to shorten it and keep the show moving and not, well, it just seems monotonous to see it every week, but I, so I just do the highlights. So, sweep freak. F you are massive right now. Well, three twenty, three nineteen. Been hovering around there. Had McDonald's yesterday. I mean, yeah. that's why. I had a number one, a Big Mac, large fry, large diet coke. Oh, it's good. And I don't eat there a lot. It was just a what? Why'd we stop there? Because we didn't have any time. We didn't have any time. I demanded was, food. And I demanded food, so they came up and with I something. And I was late to work, and I couldn't stop at one of our normal well, spots. Well, it was, yeah, Big Macs are still good. Uh-oh. Um, where was I? James Leach got a Bench Monster drinking game here. I know. I saw that. I and mean. I just got a bottle of Crown Royal from a nice lady at the gym tonight for my I, birthday I, present. I, ever since, I've been trying not to yawn ever since I read that. Hey, I got a question for you. You know, I drink Crown Royal. Um, I don't drink it all the time, but... I mix it with Coke, and they're telling me at the gym that I need to mix Crown Royal and Dr. Pepper. And like, is that, is that, is, I don't know what it is. I like Dr. Pepper, I like Crown Royal, but I like Coke and Crown. That's why I grew up drinking when I was younger. So I don't know if Dr. Pepper and Crown goes together. I bet it does, though, from what they're telling me. So, Jerry Cool. Can we get the full story of what happened with Mark Henry? 
if you've told it before, I apologize. Oh, I just, well, just on the Mark Henry. In a nutshell, basically what happened was at the Arnold, I was warming up because, you know, they're tight time schedule back there. And the strong men were on stage and they, uh, they go over the intercom and saying that the WPO bench guys need to start warming up. And I basically started warming up, got all the, all the way up to 315. And then they came over the microphone and said, it's going to be an hour longer. The strong men are going to be an hour longer. So um, I had some high hormone levels and um, other things going on, and I was not happy. And as you may or may not know, Mark Henry had been cussing at people the last two and a half years that I saw him back there. So uh, this year um, he yelled at somebody, uh, one of the bench guys, and I had enough. And I just kind of snapped and I jumped on the side of his face and I was calling him F words and he didn't turn around, face me. And, uh, Savickas was coming after me and I had the West side guys behind me and there was a lot going on and it almost insinuated a riot. Once it re reached that pitch, I knew I had to dissolve the situation cause he wasn't going to throw. And, um, yeah. So then I just basically shook his hand like a, with a dead man's handshake and, called him a really nice guy with my eyes crossed and I walked away. And then Mark Henry came back and mouthed off the next year when I wasn't there. And then we played it on uh, Dave Palumbo's radio show and we had Triple H involved. And a great end of the story is that Triple H got us free ringside tickets here. The, what? So close we got hit with a chair. Yeah, I got hit with a chair. And it was really cool because uh, Triple H got us four ringside seats here at the Toyota Center. We watched... Uh, yeah, Undertaker, Triple H, Jeff Hardy. Uh, Edge was there. Edge was there. I mean, yeah, Bella whole, Twins, I think. Bella were there. Twins. Yeah, it was awesome. So Natalia was there. Yeah. So that's just the Mark Henry you story. The Hardy brother. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Hardy. Yeah, they were there. Uh, what's up with uh, uh, Tiny Meeker? Got the numbers here. Brody, 1090, not 1091. Carlino, 1085. Cole, 1080. And Putnam hit 1025. Nice. I thought it was 1024. I get messed up with kilos. Me too. Uh, Jerry Cool, I really wish that right would have landed. Well, if it did, dude, if it would have, he would have. I might have killed him. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a big deal. I mean, there was a lot because he did call the cops. And yeah, I, since it didn't land, there was no mark, and I think I they, probably would have broken the police actually saw the video, but because the other guy was the aggressor. And I think jaw, broken jaws are ten grand. I think to fix. Yeah, I really don't want to pay that. No, that was and I would, I would, damage. and that's where I was going. I was I was glad to, you hooked it. That's where it would have went too, and he would have. I thought that was perfect. It scared the shit out of him. It skimmed, but his... it didn't. There no marks. He can't get in trouble. If he, if he would have had like a bloody face, like you would have probably been. Yeah. Going, I mean, so, it would have been a little harder for the cops to ignore that. Yeah. But, yeah, the dude had the audacity to to call the, the cops after he was on like on drugs, not supposed to be there. He's not a member. And mouthing off to the bench monster, and, Come, coming yeah, in, coming in, throwing it. his hands up to me, wanting to play, wanting to play. I'm not gonna fucking play with him. So, that's what. Hey, he's lucky that he just got double fisted in the face is the most he got right before the right came. Kind of shoved up my fist in his face, and then I, boy, it, it was it was swinging for the fences though. Yeah, <laughs> what do you do? Not, uh, looked like a silverback pushing a little monkey around. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. the video was cool because the <laughs> owner came in and had to watch the video, and I watched it, and I'm going, you know what? We'll throw it on the show. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Okay, you, know, you, you don't see that every day. You know, it happens, it happens. I've known him for 12 years, and I've never seen him throw a punch. Yeah, so. especially in a gym. I go yeah. to the gym to work out, and I've yeah. seen some heated exchanges, and we've got close a couple times on the road. <laughs> well, that's, but that's different. Uh, never, Roger Brome. never, never have I seen you actually like physically push or hit somebody. Roger Brome. Roger Brome. It is good that you gave him a chance to leave on his own power. You're yeah. a good guy. Yeah, it just that's the way it went. I have no. Pet Petko. Petko Yovchev. Yovchev. I have never seen you show any back exercises, Mr. Canelli, but I'm 100 percent sure you aren't lacking in the back. Department. No, back that we take. Uh, I do back um, a whole back bodybuilder style workout on Saturday. That's when I do my back and upper back. So, and it's uh, seated rows. I mean, uh, lawn mowers, whatever you want to call them, uh, machines, lat pull downs, bent over rows. I, I hit all facets of it. And uh, especially the upper back, too. And I need to do more upper back. And I need to do more back. You know, listen to the Julius talk. You know, he trains us, you know, for every pressing when we need us four back, you know, back movement. So I need uh back's a very important part of the bench. Yes. Sweep freak? Or, yeah. Sweep. Yeah. Sweep freak. Yeah. Read it. Are you doing personal autographs by request? 
I sign anything you want. If you mail it to me with a self-addressed stamp, return envelope, or whatever, I'll sign whatever you want. I uh, Sometimes I get those Alan Ginter uh, baseball cards still, and I sign those and send them back to people. So if you send me a magazine with a shipping envelope inside of it somehow, I will sign it for you. Not a problem. Philly okay. cheesesteak. Watch the replay of last week's episode. So sorry to hear that you had an accident. Glad to know you're really, relatively unscathed. Thank you. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky. You're alive sitting here. Yeah, I yeah. got. That was a bad phone call to get. Wake up in the morning at eight o'clock and hear. Yeah, Remy Shirley. That dude is lucky. You are a shitty boxer. Yeah, you definitely had some power behind that bomb. Yeah, I did. Well, he was in. He was close, and I, I my timing was just off, is what it was. But you know, what do you do? Were you really wanting to hit him? Yeah. Yeah, I really did. I was. I, I didn't swing to miss. I was swinging to... Oh, I, I, thought, I, I, I wanted, thought you purposely hooked it. No. Okay. If you look at the video, he shoves me and he's right here. He's like right here. And so he just... I thought you stepped back and plant the back oh, foot. Oh, no. The back foot... After I did the two fist, the back foot was planted. And that, mean. That's why I speed bench. I trained for explosiveness. He doesn't want to get hit by the 600-pound jackhammers. I don't just lift weights to go compete. There was a different method to my madness when I started this game. Uh, Billy Falconer. I'm actually having a crown in Dr. Pepper right now. No way. Okay. So there is. A, okay. Well, yeah, we're thing. going to the store tonight and I'm, I'm not a drinker by any means. And I can't even remember the last time I had a drink, but I don't know when I would Saturday. Cause I don't train Whenever Sunday. I like to sip one and try it. Probably get drunk off one drink. Maybe. That night we had Tiny Meeker on the show and I was drinking the tequila, the, the, the Rock Johnson tequila and the Gatorade. Jesus. Now nah, I was. I was lit up. Uh, one rep max. So I got a bit of a dilemma. I'm a fan of heavy above the knee rack pulls. Help my bench. But I stopped doing them because everyone told me it's an ego lift. Since my bench has gone south. And more. I don't understand. And I'm more. A fan of shaky. So would it be. I don't understand. What, what do you get out of that question? Maybe it's part two to the question there. So would it be ego so to be incorporate ego to them incorporate back them? in, or is it ego to let them or load the to motherfucker? Uh, rack pulls? Um, I don't, bench? Yeah, I don't think rack pulls are going to uh, benefit your bench. I mean, if you're a deadlifter and you got a sticky point above your knees and you're doing it for that, um, I don't I do not do any deadlifting. Just, I do it once in a while to show off. So um, I don't think... Uh, if anything, all those rack pulls things are going to do is stiffen up your lower lumbar area and inhibit your ability to arch. And I see that with uh, great deadlifters in this town uh, that can't arch, like Nate Brandenhorst. Lays flat as a pancake at 6'4". So, <laughs> but he can squat and deadlift. Yeah, he can. Roger Brome. Self-defense is reasonable force to stop the assault. So you did well. Even if you injured him when he stopped the assault, you even gave him space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, True. Yeah, I mean, you were the one that ended it. And... Well, we have a mutual, uh, what do they call it? Mutual combat thing in this state where two people agree, I guess. I don't know. I'm not tempted to find out or push that envelope. But hey, it was a one-time thing. And that guy's kicked out of the gym. And uh, I didn't see it coming. Um, but when you walk in, and I don't know what words of love he was telling me when he Walked around the bench there, but it was enough to get me fired up, and yeah, it, what a, yeah, it could have been worse. And then he tried to play it off, like, because I was trying to play Peacemaker, so yeah. I talked to him, and then I came back and talked to you, and I was like, why'd you do that? And then you said, that you and Ryan both said he got in your face, this and that, and then I went over, and I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that you got in his face, blah, 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 blah. and he's like, no, no, I, I, I just wanted to meet him. I was introducing myself. I think Ryan's a badass. I just wanted to meet him. Blah, blah, blah. You don't introduce yourself. And then yourself. ended up, sit, like, down the road when he, when he was telling the owner, you know, when the owner confronted him and everybody else confronted him, and he was like, oh, I was just trying to be blah, blah, blah. And, he, and they were like, that was a really weird way to introduce yourself, and they called him out, and then he admitted that he was really mad at Ryan. And yeah. He wanted came to... up with some bullshit reason why that wasn't true. He was clearly on drugs and yeah. perceived things People that weird. are on meth, cocaine, and heroin. I mean, that to... guy ain't even a freaking blimp on our radar. Like, no. I don't even think he like, knew he existed until he... he came up and well, did that to you. I don't know if he just runs his mouth and has never, never been uh, taught a lesson, but, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. So, I mean, he's an idiot, and well, he, 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 he can have found out the hard way. He's, uh, he's struggling with drugs. Yeah, I mean, I it sounds like, yeah. you know. Yeah, don't come in and you fuck with the bull, you're going to get the horn. So, what are we going on now? Re continue reading. 
One, one rep one. max. And yeah, the the video was done because most people say. Much big guys can't fight. Oh, can't understand. Read on. Continue. We move on. I don't on. get it. One rep max. Yeah, I don't get it. Loffler. Guys can't fight. Did I say read it again? I said go to Paul Loffler's question. I don't question. care what you said. <laughs> Do as you're told on this no, show. No, I don't. I'll punch you in the face. You will not. You don't scare me. You're a bully. You're a bully. Paul Loeffler. I'm, I'm going to change my grip on speed bench. I'm going to use a competition grip doing six yeah. sets of six using bands or chains. Yeah. You know, and when we switch to the six sets of six, eight sets of eight, we use, a, like Louis says, we use a competition grip and an illegal wide grip. So it uh, it won't hurt. Sam, just found out today I have a torn labrum and some arthritis in the right shoulder. Any experience or advice relating to continue training with that in mind? Currently, I'm still very functional. Well, torn labrum is not going to heal itself, I don't think. So uh, who has a Kyle, – Kyle in our gym has a torn labrum, and he does things that he can do, and when things that he does irritates it, he does not do them. So um, – but like I said, I mean, you need to have it fixed. Uh, labrum surgery or PRP therapy is, is one that a lot of people do, but uh, – you basically find out things that you can do that um, do not irritate it. And that's kind of a windy road, actually, because you don't want to do something. I mean, and, and make it worse either. So and I don't want to. I'm not like giving you doctor's advice, but uh, labrums are are uh, it's a hard surgery too. One right, Max. One rep max. For some reason, when I do them above the knee, I feel like my back is tighter when I bench, when I rack pull above the knee and hold it for time. My question is, what's more ego? Take them out because... I say take them out. Probably take them out. Yeah. You want to be a, you Use want... them for deadlift, but oh, I probably yeah. wouldn't use them for... If you want to be a great deadlifter, you can continue doing what you are for deadlift. If you want to be a three-lift lifter, then you got to make sacrifices on some parts and you just need to figure out you wanna, what you're doing. Three lift lifter, bench push pull, or just bench only, or uh, if you're training all three, then you gotta you gotta do it all. And period. But if you enjoy them and you like doing them and do you want to do them, and they don't hurt you, do them. Like Petco. Make do what makes you happy. Petco. But C J Morgani, do you? No. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. I I was miss it bounced. I know. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys live near Centralia? Got suspenders and some other gear from Madison Shop and Supply. Looks like a really cool place if you love chainsaws and outdoor stuff. Where's Centralia at? Oh no. Oh, that's a, is that over south of Seattle? I've heard of it, but I've heard know. of it. Yeah, I have to Google it. I'm not sure if we're close. Or is that or is that <laughs> north? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's that? I'm not sure. Yeah. Bench st sticking point is in the middle. Floor presses and board presses work wonders yeah. for me. Any other variations or accessories you'd recommend? Speed bench. Speed and explosive power to make it through that sticky point. And uh, uh, heavy dumbbells. Uh, duffalo bar. I mean, uh, just speed and explosive power. I mean, obviously two things uh, cause, uh, cause a sticky point. Horrible technique or not enough speed off the chest or triceps aren't strong enough. So... Uh, speed benching can do wonders if you do it correctly. Using fifty percent of your one rep max with twenty five percent band tension uh, or twenty five percent twenty five percent chain. Use close grips, just like we do in our our videos. One rep. Where? Driving the cursor. Someone told me. Or is it more ego? Let's see. I think that was continuing. Take the... My question is, what's more ego? Take them out because someone told me? Or is it more ego to have them in and load the effort up? I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. I don't know about rack dead. I don't care. Load them up. Whatever you want to do. Just load them up. Yeah. Because that's what you got to do. I mean, if you enjoy it, you yeah. should do it. Yeah. Don't do them light. Do them heavy. Let's go. Your spread the bar on the way up cue has been a game changer for me. It works for a lot of people. Um, 
but it's one of those things if you can remember to do it when when you're when you're at, at maximum weight uh but it's also easy to do when your your brain's focused on bringing the bar down bring the bar up and you actually can somebody can say spread the bar and once you hear it you can do it without thinking it so that's why verbal cues are important a lot of people have been benefited from that Jamie Leach. Some folks just ain't never been shook right. That's true. <laughs> Billy eats cheesesteak. Your state has a duty to retreat. If so, self-defense isn't necessarily the best option from a legal perspective, unfortunately. Stand your ground is the superior legal doctrine. I don't know if we have a stand your ground law here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what how how that works, but I know that the police were involved and yeah. he wasn't in trouble at all, so... Um, we had some pull there too because not, I, nothing happened to me, so well, kind of well, above the law. Well, no, I, he they, he said that like that he had to, he brought up your video and yeah. it shows clearly that that guy instigated it yeah. and they know he's got a history with them because he's a drug addict, right? And so was, when he called them, they knew. I think I think I think I heard they they even called him a crack. Like basically said. Well, yeah. the day that on Friday that day that happened, there was a sheriff in the gym, and I walked over because the gym owner. His cousin is the sheriff there. The train's there. So I walked over. I go, do you know that dude over there? And he said, yeah, I've had run-ins run with him all the time. He's a, he's a doper. So, it, I mean, a cop said that. So, uh, questions? What do you mean? Logman. I agree with you, Petco. And Tiny Meeker. Pico. Tiny Meeker tore my labrum and never had surgery. Well, Tiny brings up uh, another, you know, I mean, I would get some of Tiny Meeker's GLC products, obviously. Uh if i if i had a torn labrum or any any, any issue like that mm -hmm. they work phenomenal yeah it'd be a great start thoughts Petco. on thoughts on matt winning and his version of the conjugate system uh i talk to matt winning all the time and I actually get workouts from him once in a while and uh, he's very smart he's got a master's degree so anytime i have questions on benching and i follow him on instagram and watch a lot of his uh movements that he does and he's uh he's very scientific very smart and in fact it was uh the bar speed uh in some of his videos recently that i looked at and i was like you know what when i watch my videos our bar speed is not like that and so actually last week i decided to bring in that meter test and make sure that everybody was moving the bar at the correct speed because we get a little sloppy once in a while so matt winning is a genius very smart man if yeah i I can't thank the guy enough. He actually uh, visited us once here. Yeah, he did. I came, came we, had we had dinner with him at um, Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, that? yeah. I still owe him dinner. So, yeah, he bought me dinner. <laughs> that was fun. We worked out, and then we yeah hung out with Matt Winning. Yeah, it was very cool. He was a very cool guy. Very smart. Very, very well spoken. Sweet freak. Sweet freak. Have you ever thought about streaming your workouts on Twitch? Nah, I thought Twitch was for like video game people. Isn't that I, what it I've is? I've never even heard of it. I've heard of it. I just thought that's where people play video games on. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. So, I'm not familiar with that I one. I probably could. I mean, I didn't know that was a thing. I'll have to check Twitch out sometime. CJ Morgani. Ashley, what's your favorite deadlift accessory? Looking to throw some new ones in the rotation as I work towards 700. Um, I like a lot of stuff. I like um, I like dead, deficit deadlifts. I like... Um, putting them up on blocks kind of like a rack pull but i like it better putting it up on like if you have wooden blocks or even like rubber plates work um you know getting it at your st sticking point working the lockout you can put a little more weight on it sometimes and work the lockout i like putting chains on there that also works a lot for me my lockout is the worst part so i'm looking for things that like will fix that um and so i like chains you know where it's it's getting heavier as you get to the top so you know, like when you're not pull, when you, when you chain, pull with chains for a little while, and then you take those chains off, and you're pulling, and you, you've trained yourself that you have to pull harder because it's only getting heavier. And then when you have straight weight, you're like, oh shoot, it's it's gonna stay the same weight. Like I got this. And so for me, like that that helps a lot. Um, I love like glute ham raises, straight legged deadlifts. Um, those are probably my favorite things. Reverse hyper. Um, I like to throw that in at the end. Yep. Uh, you know, really good for the back. What else do I do? I saw you do trap bar deadlifts in one time, but that's my workout. I do trap bar deadlifts like when my lower back is really like flared up and like the normal deadlift, like, you know, when I can feel all the pressure go to that lower back and it doesn't feel right, I'll get the trap bar going and it just, it hits way differently. It feels really like way better. So that's more when I'm injured, but. 
but that's a good one to throw in there too. Like if your lower back is tired and sore and you're like not feeling the regular deadlift, you can put the trap bar and you can still get some weight on the bar, still move some weight and it feels much, much better. Um, but probably my favorites are deficit deadlifts, box pulls or rack pulls, um, glute hams and straight leg. Okay. Those are probably my, my, my four favorites. But there's a lot of good ones out there. But those are probably glute. I love glute ham raises. Those are. What's your best deadlift again? Four twenty four. Four twenty four at one thirty two. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. Be increasing that uh, sometime down the road when you get on the platform again. Hoping to. Hoping to. Okay, one rep max has a question. Maybe or maybe he's just By the way, sorry if my wording is off. I'm working, so I'm. Trying to type super fast, laughing my ass off, and I'm cracked out on coffee and two hours of sleep. Ooh, two hours of sleep's not good. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. Hey, Jimmy Kolb. Jimmy Kolb in the house. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Congratulations. Jimmy. Yeah, 1080, Very cool. awesome left. Very impressive. Paul Offer. Hey, Jimmy Kolb. That's the most impressive bench I've ever seen. Great meeting you. <laughs> it's impressive. Yeah. It, it was and 1100 impressive. in a single ply will just be like it's gonna be out of this world you yeah one coming. for the ages there that'll be there you for a while it's coming james leach james i leach. use the trap bar because i just want to be stronger i'm not interested in doing all three lifts i like the trap bar too that's what he does yeah too. yeah and I, I, you can I, do more weight on it I you can do more like. weight yeah, it's not as far down and it doesn't hurt my back so it's a lot easier on the back nathan brandhorse happy birthday old man did your kids get anything cool? Did your kids get anything cool? I I got some cool things presents wise. I also got a fifth of Crown Royal today, so yeah. the presents are just keep coming. Yep. Yeah, I can't complain. And we're made gonna out go, like a bandit. Made out like a bandit. I even got some underwear. Needed some underwear. Got underwear Thank and you. socks. Yeah, so got some some stuff you needed yeah. and some fun Little stuff. Things. And yeah, threw in, threw in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Did your kids get you? Oh, did your did your kids get kids, you? I don't know who kids are. He, what kids? What kids, man? <laughs> your, your my bench teammates, people? my bench crew. Is that what you mean? They sang "Happy Birthday" to me in the gym on Tuesday night after the workout. I thought that was cool. <laughs> Bill Kazmaier sang "Happy Birthday" to you in uh, Alaska. Yep. Two years that ago. Competition yeah. that was super cool. He got the whole the everybody that was in the in the building to sing "Happy Birthday" to me. And he Rush. led it. It was pretty cool. I remember that. I was there. That was Kazmaier's cool. a cool dude. It's very cool uh russian ones don't understand confused i'm confused nathan yeah are we your kids yeah i'm old we're confused about the kids i'm old i'm 40 fucking too old so 47 so you think still on the game still pushing got big things to do bill gillespie's my idol he's 60 years young and i know that there's a lot of time between my age in there and i know i can do it so it's gonna it gives me motivation so russian, well russian ones i don't know who anyway i hope everybody enjoyed the show and the fiascos at the gym uh was it gonna i'm just hoping that guy don't come back with a gun we thought he was gonna come back today and shoot up the gym I, because I, he's that I, kind of crazy I, I people think that's that do a that legit concern yeah we were we were on the lookout today. I was today. talking to another girl in there that was worried about it too. Yeah, he could show up and just start shooting through the windows. I was expecting I mean, it he today. Totally Crazy. could. He is Crazy not right upper. in the head. People like... that are right in the head, and uh, that would just play right into the uh, guy on the Pennsylvania Avenue's hands, who's trying to ban everything known to life and in the gun world anyway. Yeah, so have some asshole come to our gym and shoot it up. So it could happen. It could happen. I, I'm a, I, I gotta keep totally, a lookout. I, this guy's like, crazy. Every time somebody came through that door today, I was waiting. The guy's crazy, walking. man. Yeah. yeah, it's in the eyes. I think he'll be back. There's I nobody... don't think he's. I do not think we've seen the last. Well, of he him. walked out of the door. He looked... And his dad, his dad, I think is going. I, I think his dad will come in there and be an issue, because I hear. His, I think his dad is even worse than him. Really? Well, um, and his dad does train, like has trained there. I've seen him probably four times. You've seen him? Mm -hmm. He's like six, I'm six foot sure eight, right? It's his dad. Tall. He's real tall, got a long face. Like, he totally fits this description of, I, of okay, who well, I've seen him in. Maybe like, this is far from home. Maybe the dad's going to come in and fight and I battle. totally expect the dad to come in and fight Maybe we'll battle. have another video. And then we'll say, hey, why don't you go home and kick his ass somewhere? Because we heard that he, be, that he beats his kid. He yeah. beats his kid. It's, it's, that, 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 that this guy, I mean, it sounds like he just has, like, a rough. I mean, I feel, you know, you feel bad for him. But at the same time, like, you can't act like that in society. Like, it doesn't work. Like. Well, and I don't know why he's picking his fights with me. And I, yeah, yeah, pick your battles. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know, man. It's not right in the head. But drugs make you do stupid things. Yeah, uh, he fell asleep over on the. Um, he he was. I think we think he was. He was standing, he was standing up. Pretend yeah. I'm standing up. He was like this. 
Yeah, that's dope. Up and down, meth, like, heroin, standing up. Speedball. I mean, like that's. I'm not sure. I know I fall asleep on here like no other, but like in the middle of the gym, in the middle of your sets, standing up. I have never even personally well, done that did. before. That he happened, did it. That happened yeah. yesterday. All right, James Lee. Was crazy. We're gonna move on. First time I had done a deadlift in 15 years, I pulled 350 like it was nothing. It's just not my thing. Not my thing either, Leach. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm almost 40, but I think I'm like 20. <laughs> I, I don't Mark like Mark Henry, it's me again. Just oh, yeah. wanted to let everyone know I will be releasing a new movie featuring Samuel Jackson. I'll be looking for that, Mark. Named Life of Good the... seeing you, Mark. And uh, maybe we'll meet down the road sure. and pick up where we left off. I'm sure. And we can wrestle or box or be the undercard of... Uh, those two Yahoo strong men that are going to box. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. Looks like. Is that the last one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Pick a fight it's with funny. the 300 I just put it on there oh. for enjoyment. It's like nobody got hurt, but it was like a little bit of, I put the UFC song behind it, which I'll get copyright and fringe for. But hey, I thought it was cute. I thought it was funny. I thought you enjoy it. And it's not something you see every day. And no. not something I do every day. So. No. I'm... It was just like, a, I like to say it's a one-time thing, but I who knows? so. Yeah. I hope so. There's cameras everywhere now. Everything everything you do is under camera, like yeah. Big Brother's watching. So, but yeah, I appreciate the birthday wishes too. Yeah. yeah, it is Thursday. My birthday was Tuesday. I appreciate that, and uh, we'll be back next week. We'll do it again. Sounds good. Us too. Yes. Yeah. If you we hope uh, everybody hope everybody has a great week. Uh, maybe we need a guest. Who should I call? Yeah. I don't know either. Uh, well, I'll put the feelers out. See if uh, I won't. Put, I can't say it because then if I don't have anybody next week, then I just like I'm just talking hot air. So yeah, I better not say. Yeah. No, you're not, you don't say. You get it hooked. It's like su- it's like it. well, it's like Sunday. I am sit. I'll sit around because I'm. I don't go to the gym. So Sunday, if I'm not on the water fishing, I'll just pick randomly somebody on the on the. Uh, would you be interested to be on the show and set I'd it up? I'd be happy to be a guest. Mark Henry, I would love to have you on here. I love you. I love you, bro. Love you, bro. <laughs> love you, bro. <laughs> Shauna Mendelson. Shauna Mendelson. Yeah. Hey, she's putting on a really cool meet. Really? Yeah. September 11th. Uh, something to do with the 9-11 memorial oh, contest cool. thing up in New York. Uh, I, I think she's going to uh, put on a pretty good show. And, uh, you know, if all things are in order, maybe uh, fly out and do that. I, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to see what platform I end up on. I really need to reestablish, uh, you know, I need to go out there and do a band shirt lift and show the world that I can do it. And, uh, have consistent training in it and, uh, and, uh, go out. I'm not going to go out and, and, uh, try to do 1300, but I'm going to go out and do a few lifts and say, you know, this proved that I can still do it. So I wear the dark side shirts. I wear Pharrell shirts. Uh, and that's the only shirts I wear right now. And then I have a couple that, uh, of both and, uh, I like them both. So we will see as time goes on, what, what and where I end up. I know there's a meet in, well, I'm not going to mention any dates. When they come, they come, and I'll let everybody know that I'm doing a meet and wish me luck and see if I can still do it. But I was very, very impressed with the lifts at Tiny Meeker's meet and uh, seeing the band shirts in action and a single pie in action. So I got you got you got a, you got a conglomerate of, of shirts going on. And I'm glad Mindy didn't get hurt too bad dumping 11 15. Yeah, My God, man. Uh, shit. That's scary to see when that much weight barrels down on you it's scary as hell so uh any other questions before we go ashley uh, yes have mark call in or drop by hunter's powerlifting life i'll be on the show lol i was at the baddest ventures and won best lifter for pro bench and deadlift nice job yeah you did i think i saw some i think i saw his video so nice yeah jamie leach i'll be a guest as the world's most average bench presser nothing wrong with that <laughs> Bill Kazmaier would be a badass guest. That's very not, true. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's uh, doing podcasts or anything, but uh, he wished me a happy birthday on Facebook. Ooh. That was kind of cool. So yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So he didn't sing it to you, like he didn't did. sing it like you got. No. Well. But I'm only one hunter's powerlifting life. But I'm only one thirty. I'm a little guy, not a thousand pound bencher. That's the right. That's the right. You're, wow, you're my size. You're a dedicated lifter. Strong though. Yeah. yeah, you're stronger. Strong. You're a lot stronger, stronger than me. That's true. <laughs> a lot stronger than well, 30. That's, I'll give you that for sure. <laughs> we thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening. Put Rob Farrell show... on. That was the last yeah. one. That's a good idea. Well, I mean, you prep. You I actually have to send Rob a shirt back, actually. So 
I think I'm going to ask for the Will Barodi shirt. I watched Will's lift multiple times, and I don't have a shirt like Will Barodi, so I want his shirt. Is that That's a normal thing to ask. When I benched 800 pounds, uh, people wanted the Canelli shirt, the denim that I was wearing. And yeah, so uh, I, I, want, I want a Will Brody shirt. I think I can do something in that shirt. It's cut differently. It's, it's, it looks uh, it looks more apt to my benching style. So um, I want the best. I want what the best are using. So call Mindy. I will, I'll text him, see if he's in a talkative mood this week, and we'll see what happens. Thanks, One Rep Max. Yeah. Hope you have a good night and a good week also. Hey, get some sleep, One Rep Max. You. you can't live on two hours. Yeah, you, you got to get some sleep. There's no recovery, recuperation that occurs with two, hour, uh, two hours. I mean, you got to get a full rim sleep, man. I know it's easy to sit here and say, I know you got like a lot of jobs and you're a busy man, but I just try to pass on some positive uh, words before we shut it down. Anyway, thank you and thank you and thank you to everybody. And don't look at me like I'm a bad guy because I uh, was swinging at some poor bastard in the gym. It was supposed to be entertaining. He asked for he it. He asked for it, and I, I'm not like tooting my horn, and I'm not telling you I'm going to go out and fight Chuck Liddell tomorrow. I was just in the midst of a workout. Somebody came in and talked shit. Uh, there was prior heat, and it could have been worse, and I'm glad I handled it the way I did. I'm glad I missed with the right hook from uh, yeah, I thought you purposely missed. I didn't purposely miss. I, I totally. I, I thought just, you hook. I thought you just kind of wanted to scare the crap out of me. Well, it scared purposely me when I saw it on it. camera. I didn't realize how fast it was though. But uh, that being said, that was a one-time thing. It won't happen again. Knock on some wood. Let's pray. Let's pray it doesn't. So, okay. so we can continue bringing the show, and uh, we don't have to do a live stream from the Benton County Jail. No, we don't want to have to. Yeah, do Yeah, there's that. not no good in there. So, and they don't feed you well. So, hey. Thank you for joining us this evening. I am the Bench Monster, and I'm signing off with Miss Ashley Lynn Condren. Good night, everybody. Have a great week. Thank you for joining us.